Jackson, Lavarius, come on, y'all. Man, y'all sit on now. Y'all too good to a country boy. How y'all doing, man? Oh, man, I'm Landon LaVarius, bro. It feels good to be out in L.A., man. It's good to see you guys. My day been some bullshit already. <laughs> so, hell yeah. I saw a white lady on the lotion commercial today. This shit threw my whole day off. I couldn't believe it. White lady. Like, what she know about lotion, right? <laughs> right? She ain't never got her ass whooped for being ashy on the way to church. She ain't. <laughs> She can't support the brand, and it was Jergens. It's like the unofficial, official black lotion. Everybody know that. In my mind, I'm like, where Viola Davis when you need her? Or like, Idris Elbow Elbow, where is he at? <laughs> lotion commercial. It's like, know your brand, Jergens. You would never see a black family in a Subaru commercial. You'd never see that shit. <laughs> Hell no. They let a family of dogs drive Subaru for they ever. <laughs> let a black family. <laughs> In a Subaru commercial, you'll see a family of four dogs driving a Subaru. Why? Because Subaru know their audience. Get together, jerkers. Got a real cute crowd. We got couples in here. I love a love. That's nice. Hell yeah. I like to watch couples arguing, though. That's the shit. Hell yeah. That's how you know somebody in love. That's passion. They ain't afraid to love in front of other people. That's real. Like, I saw a deaf couple arguing on the bus a couple weeks ago, right? I'm like, what in the Helen Keller is this? Come on. <laughs> you can't be doing wild stuff when you get to arguing, though. I got this friend Chauncey, him and his girl, they always doing wild shit when they get out, you know? Like, the other week, we out to eat, and Chauncey get caught liking titty pics on Instagram. And I don't know if any man ever likes some titty pics in front of your girl, but it don't go good, right? So his girl, she immediately chews violence, right? She start going upside Chauncey's shit. And Chauncey, real light skin, he was trying to defend himself, right? But she was scratching his tattoos, right? <laughs> so the whole situation got real sassy, right? So instead of fighting back, Chauncey just snatched her wig off and threw that bitch in the puddle. <laughs> I know, nobody even knew it was a wig. They tricked my wife, everything. I was like, they wilding out in this valet. I'm bent over. She had the Kawhi Leonard straight backs and everything. It was unbelievable. I know, man. Right, embarrassing moment. But like the strong queen she is, she took them Kawhi Leonard straight backs, reached in that puddle, grabbed that wig, rang it out, threw it on her head, and she shot Chauncey in the face. Shit was all over the news, it was crazy. I'm bullshit, she just stabbed him, she didn't. See, it sound better when you say it like that, don't it? I just got married, 2019 BC. Hell yeah, 2019 BC. <laughs> to a black queen, had the wedding and everything. That shit was cold. Hey, it had fireworks, had a registry, never been registered before. Shit was tight. Hell yeah. I got registered at some cool places though, like my leasing office and Georgia Power and Comcast. <laughs> Told my parents, I said, you gonna need, I need some help on these bills if you gonna go down. See a wedding, grandma. Hell yeah, so y'all know them. <laughs> I don't know, I love my queen. She put me on game. She put me on this shit, almond milk. I don't know if anybody else. Hell yeah, I ain't even know almonds had, hell yeah, y'all was LA, hell yeah. I ain't even know almonds had titty nipples. I'm from the country. One day we eating cereal, I'm like, baby, who milking the almonds? She's like, I don't know. I thought they were squeezing them. I was like, all right, squeeze nut juice. We can go with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Learning things, we learning each other now that we married, we learning more about each other. Like I learned my wife has really long arms, it's like having sex with an orangutan. That shit is fun and freaky at the same time. Hell yeah. I found out in the weirdest way, big dog, right? We having sex, I'm hitting it from the back and she gonna slap me in the ass. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Get your hand off my booty. I taught her that I'm afraid of raccoons. That's the shit. That's something she learned about me. I'm afraid of raccoons. Y'all like y'all ain't afraid of raccoons. Let one come from under that stage. Let you skedaddle your ass up out of this show. <laughs> grab the blunt, grab the blunt. <laughs> they got them thumbs. That shit fuck with me. What the fuck a raccoon need a thumb for? This nigga gonna do a Rubik's Cube. This nigga ain't smarter than me. I can't do no fucking Rubik's Cube. Hell no. Nah. Remember raccoon made me quit college, cold turkey. Had to go. Man, hell yeah, I used to see him taking it when I was taking out the trash, right? And I was afraid one was gonna see me, see him. I was gonna run home just in time, close the door. 
And then the raccoon just gonna open the damn door behind me. And now here in my house, he changing light bulbs. He turning on faucets and shit. We playing 2K. I can't beat him. He got all the cheat codes. I hate sneaky motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I don't really give to the homeless. Yeah. I'm more of a lesson than a blessing. <laughs> Y'all give, I give when I can. Y'all give, y'all give fucked up though. Every year y'all doing canned food drives for them. Never no can opener drives. Y'all ain't giving them can openers. Y'all ain't giving them bowls. Y'all ain't giving them microwaves. Y'all ain't giving them stoves. It's like, what you think they doing with the cans? Building forts? <laughs> I know we in LA home with the homeless. <laughs> Skid row. Y'all got bougie homeless out here. Niggas will put on a show for you. I was at Wendy's the other day. Like, homeless dude, I'm trying to get a fo 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 and go, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Get a little slick fo 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 and go. It's late night, right? Homeless dude just slid from behind the car box. <laughs> Ate that young blood. I was like, did this? <laughs> Boom, just temptation step into my heart, right? It's like, I know this the city. I ain't, I ain't know they got talent at the Wendy's here, okay? Hey, that young blood, you think you give me a burger or something? I'm like, all night, baby, I'm starving, right? right? I, don't, I don't got up on the PPP loan, right? So I'm like, shit, let me get some for you. He was like, well, shit, let me get a Baconator, large fry, and a Frosty with a little swirl in it. You know how they do it, baby. My nigga, that shit rang up, $11.51. Lem dollars, 51 cents. Old time, you done lost your mind. You think I'm about to pay. Lem 51 for you, a meal to me for my nigga. You better pick again and be respectful. That's all I said, right? Just be respectful, right? He gonna go right back to the show. Oh, shit, young blood. Ooh, you show sure cut me D with that one. Shit, but let me see what else I want. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want no four for them nuggets. Tell my stomach, baby. I ain't got no goddamn toilet paper, wet wipes. None of the essentials, baby. I'm fucked up out here. Shit. How about you just give me that bacon egg? It's my birthday. Please. Please, right? Hit you with that second, please. You got to get it up, right? So 2750 later, we at the window. They hand me the bag for the four for four, hand me the bag for the baconator. I look at both and hand him the four for four and I drive the fuck off. I'm like, you're not getting that juicy ass baconator on my dime, my nigga. You have lost your mind. I told you, I'm a lesson, not a blessing, my nigga. Come on now. Hell yeah. Crazy ass fucking homeless people. Always some bullshit out here, man. Uber's insane. That's some bullshit. Uber Eats is the worst. They eating the food, guys. I don't know if, if y'all know that or not. I got a friend. He drives Uber. He eats the fries. And you know they eat the fries because they come to your house looking stuffed in a motherfucker when they get there. Wipe their crumbs and shit. You see them in the peephole. You're like, Marquise, why ain't no fries in the bottom of my fucking bag? Just your mixtape. Don't nobody want a mixtape instead of french fries at the bottom of they fucking bag. You lost your mind, Marquise. Mm -hmm. Damn, I was doing some bullshit. When I called the Uber to my house one time, I get outside, the dude sitting on the passenger seat told me his license is suspended. Do I mind driving? And I'm like, I called you because my license is suspended. Now we out here arguing about who gonna call the Uber for us, right? I had to drive because I'm running late to a show. And I'm like, nigga, don't you do this again. Put your mixtape in, Marquise. Let's take a listen, bro. Let's, let's fucking freestyle. God damn, y'all are looking so good, man. To me, don't go to Atlanta. You gotta take care of yourself out here. If you ain't eating right, start today, you know? Just recently had a family member lost his foot from um, diabetes. It's real sad, man. We told him, told him, hey, my nigga, you're gonna lose that foot. You better. Get your shit together, but he didn't. Now he, now he out here nubbing around, right? <laughs> Slip it his lamp. But it's gonna be all right, you know what I mean? It ain't the end, I always know that. Anything happen to you, you can rise up, it ain't never the end. Hell yeah. That's what I told him when I was talking, when I talked to him, I told him just that day, when he had got his leg cut off, I told him, I was like, hey man, I was in Papa John's earlier, Right, and this has inspired me to tell you this. I was in Papa John's earlier, and I saw a dude in there with no hands making pizza. Right, and I knew 
And at that moment, that right, that you can do something. Because when I walked in and he was just tossing that dough, <laughs> just tossing that dough, bro. And I was like, oh my God, this piece about to be fast, shawty. This is about to be one of the best pizzas, man. And he was just kneading that bitch. And then he had a little bag of cheese. They had to bring somebody with two hands for the sauce, but I ain't, I ain't mind that. I didn't mind that at all. They let him put the pepperonis on it. It was all over the bag. Fucked up the whole pizza. But we ain't gonna talk about that part. All I'm saying is the, the, the dough, though. Oh, my God. If you ever in Atlanta, the, the, the Papa John's on P1 Road has... I know, he's a veteran, so don't laugh, guys. Okay, um, we got it. My name, y'all on Instagram, hell yeah. Y'all need to follow me and shit. We need to be cousins. I'm your country cousin or something. Um, my name is Landon Lavarius. You guys can follow me on Instagram, all that good shit, man. You guys have a great night. And give it up for your host, Shane, one more time. This has been a Funny Media Group production.